And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Hello, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with your Alaska Aviation Weather Outlook on this Saturday, September 28th, 2024. And this Aviation Outlook will be for Sunday into Monday. And of the most important uh, feature we're going to be talking about is a intense low that is going to lift out of the North Pacific up into the Gulf and then head toward uh, the panhandle. This low will have storm force winds and moderate to heavy rainfall. That'll be happening Monday into Tuesday. In the meantime, we have a weak collection of a few lows uh, near Kodiak Island out over the southeast part of the Bering and near south of uh, St. Lawrence Island, creating some IFR conditions along areas of the southwest back towards St. Lawrence and also down in the southeast Bering. As you get off of the Arctic coast, the Beaufort Sea coastline, we do find uh, IFR conditions there. Now, by the time we get in the Sunday morning, MVFR conditions expected along the Gulf Coast into the Panhandle, along much of the West Coast as well, throughout uh, the Alaska uh, Peninsula, Eastern Aleutians, and a pocket of IFR conditions with a weak low in the Southeast Bering Sea, south of Nunavik Island and east of the Pribilovs. Also some MVFR conditions along the middle upper uh, Yukon Valley to the Porcupine River. And by the time we get into Monday morning, the low is down here. It's uh, hints of it showing up. We have IFR conditions off of uh, the Alaska Peninsula there in the North Pacific and still some lingering uh, IFR conditions in the Southeast Bering. But by the time we get into Monday afternoon, the low will rapidly lift northeastward and be up here in the lower portion of the Gulf North Pacific. Uh, interface and this low will have storm force winds. In fact, uh, the most intense winds around this low will be Monday afternoon into Monday night, especially out over the open waters of the Gulf and then uh, starting to push into the panhandle as we go into uh, later Monday and early Tuesday. There is a high wind watch for Prince of Wales uh, Island here uh, as we go through Monday into Tuesday. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, we expect uh, MVFR conditions along coastal areas of the Gulf, southwest, west coast, uh, middle, upper Yukon Valley, uh, and then there's another low out here in the western bearing with a front and IFR conditions along that into the central Aleutians. This low is not as strong. It's going to be heading more, the energy from this system is going to be heading more southeastward and then eventually uh, move up into the Gulf, continuing this a parade of fall weather systems. Some of them will be strong at times. There's indications early, mid-October, we could see a series of additional stronger storms coming in either off the bearing or up out of the North Pacific. So it looks like we're just gonna continue this progression of just the gradual cool down that happens with the fall season and with storms getting gradually uh, stronger as we head toward winter. Anatovic Pass VFR conditions expected there for Sunday. Same thing uh, out across much of the interior. Attigan Pass VFR conditions on Sunday. Now, as we get down toward the uh, west arm there, the Alaska Range, further south along it, MVFR conditions at Lake Clark. Merrill will become uh, go VFR to MVFR. Generally, as we get up through the central Alaska Range eastward, Rainy Pass as well as Windy Pass all the way through Isabel and Mentasta passes. We expect VFR conditions on Sunday. And then as we drop down through the Copper River Basin, Tanita Pass VFR conditions. Portage Pass should largely be VFR on Sunday with the exception as you get out into Prince William Sound, we'll see VFR conditions become MVFR. And right now for the Northern Panhandle, uh, Chilkoot and White will generally remain MVFR on Sunday. And looking at the freezing levels at the surface, we find that the freezing line does drop down into uh, much of the uh, mainland, especially in and around the mountains. Any areas of clearing, you could see temperatures near or below freezing. Uh, freezing levels aloft, there's no real notable system. Uh, it is colder over the Bering. Generally, freezing levels there are below uh, 2,000 feet in the central and northern Bering. And even down here in the North Pacific, we find freezing levels that are right around uh, 3,000 feet or so in through the Gulf and North Pacific. And then we're gonna be watching that low pressure, uh, that storm force low lift quickly northeastward on Monday um, out of the North Pacific up into the Gulf with main impacts expected there across areas of the Panhandle Northeastern Gulf Coast. So icing on Sunday, uh, no real significant widespread problems. There could be some isolated moderate icing 
perhaps uh, lower Cook Inlet and in areas of the lower portion of the Alaska Peninsula above four and 6,000 feet and then way out to the west, maybe above 6,000 feet well west of the uh, western Aleutians. And looking at the jet stream level winds, there is a core of winds 120 to 145 knots out of the uh, northwest out there uh, over uh, Haida Gwaii into the eastern Gulf. Uh, and then as we get further back to the west, we find uh, on the back side of this general area of troughiness that's over the southwest part of the mainland, we find uh, a belt of winds of 75 to 90 uh, knots. At 9,000 feet, 700 millibars, here's the hint of that storm force low coming up out of the North Pacific that'll be heading up into the lower Gulf and then toward the Panhandle uh, for Monday into Tuesday. And uh, winds with that, as you get further south, they are around 60 knots. Along the west coast uh, and into the southwest, including lower Cook Inlet, we're looking at south, uh, southerly flow 30 to as locally as high as 40 knots. And as we bring it down to 3,000 feet, here again comes that hint of that storm force low in the North Pacific that'll be lifting quickly uh, northeastward into the Gulf as we go into Monday. But on Sunday, fairly quiet conditions wind-wise across the mainland, except for just a little belt of 25 to maybe 30 knot winds. A few pockets through the gaps could see 35, 40 knot winds. And then there's also some winds out here way out to off the Cham uh, Kamchatka coast in the southwest corner of the Bering. We're looking at some winds and uh, upwards over 50 uh, knots there with that low. And uh, the potential for any turbulence, nothing all that widespread. There could be some isolated moderate turbulence in areas of the, of the west from around Point Hope, Kivalina, down across the higher mountains there north of, uh, uh, or should I say northeast of Nome on the north side of the Seward Peninsula. Middle Yukon, down toward Lake Iliamna, uh, the entrance of Cook Inlet, parts of uh, the Alaska Peninsula back out toward the eastern central Aleutians. We're looking at some isolated turbulence uh, on the order of three to 4,000 feet during the day on Sunday.